What's up guys, my name is Brandon and Apple just released iOS 13.4.5 beta one to registered developers exactly a week after the release of iOS 13.4 came to the public. So in this video, we're gonna cover what's new in the software. We're gonna see if any of the bugs have been fixed from 13.4. We're gonna check out the performance, the battery life and more. So first off, before the comments get flooded with this exact same question, Apple jumped from iOS 13.4 to 13.4.5 because it's gonna be beta tested for a while. So that means the iOS 13.4.1 iOS 13.4.2 and all the way up to 13.4.4 are going to be internally tested and are not going to require beta testing. So that of course means that we should be seeing some small public updates throughout the months of April and May to fix some of the bugs in iOS 13.4 or just random other bugs that come up and may require an emergency update. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, you can see here the size of this update is 4.1 gigabytes. And if you guys don't know why that is, that's because when you go from a GM to a beta or vice versa, you're always going to get the full image download. So depending on your device, and if you were on the beta program with the GM and things like that, it could be smaller or it could be around this size. So let's go ahead and check out the build number for this version. So settings, general about 13.4.5. You can see there the build number is 17F5034C. So of course we do have a long build number there with a C at the end, which of course does indicate we are going to have quite a few betas of 13.4.5. And then scrolling down to the modem firmware, we get a nice update here. We went from 1.05.28 on iOS 13.4 to 1.06.00 on 13.4.5 beta one. So that should definitely solve some LTE issues or connectivity issues you may have been having on iOS 13.4. So now what's new here in iOS 13.4.5? And the first thing is actually something big that I've been waiting on for a while, ever since iOS 13 got released. And that is that you can now add Apple Music songs to your Instagram story. So when you're in a song here on Apple Music, you can do this for an album as well, or a playlist as well. If you're on here and you click these three dots and go to share, you will see we now have a new Instagram icon there. When you click on that, it will actually create the story for you and open up an Instagram and take a look at how good that looks there in your Instagram story. And before this feature, you had to rely on a Siri shortcut and you can actually see the background is changing as well. It's actually a moving background, which is pretty cool. I just noticed that, but you used to have to use a Siri shortcut and it would always break. So anytime Instagram came out with an update or iOS came out with an update, it would actually break and it wouldn't work. So now we don't have to worry about that. It works all the time, which is pretty cool. You can move it around like so. And I'm assuming when you post it on your story, you'll be able to click on it as well. All right, so here it is posted on my story right now. And as of now, you cannot click on it to open up Apple Music, but that may be fixed in a future update, maybe beta two. Uh, but still, it's cool that you can actually add that and it's a moving image in the background as well. And of course you can add music if you want to through Instagram stories, that same song if you would like to. So great feature. I've actually been waiting on this for a good while. Now we also get a fix to the 3D touch menu for settings here in this update. So in iOS 13.4, one of the biggest reported bugs, one of the most reported bugs was when you went to Bluetooth, it would just crash your settings or sometimes it wouldn't even go to the Bluetooth section. It would just go to the main page of settings. But now when you 3D or haptic press on it and go to Bluetooth, it will open up the Bluetooth settings every single time. So thankfully Apple did fix that blatant bug in 13.4. Now another big bug in iOS 13.4 had to do with VPNs. So it was discovered that this bug slash vulnerability, whatever you want to call it, would prevent VPNs from fully encrypting your traffic and data. So that's a pretty big deal. And I'm sure that Apple probably fixed that here in iOS 13.4.5 beta one, but of course we will need more time with this. And I will let you guys know in the beta two video, if this in fact has been fixed, but I'm assuming it has. Now I do also want to mention that there were issues with Bluetooth connectivity in iOS 13.4. I saw this for people with the iPhone and also recently on iPad OS with the controller, like a DualShock 4 controller or a magic mouse, they would just drop connection or just not connect or work altogether. So, 13.4.5 may fix that. I will need a little bit more time with it to test it out and see before I report back. 
But I did just want to note that there were Bluetooth connectivity issues in 13.4 and that they should be fixed in the following updates. And as for any of the other bugs in iOS 13.4 that I've mentioned here on the channel or that you guys were facing with FaceTime or email or anything like that, it's still too early to tell if those bugs have been fixed here in 13.4.5, but I will let you guys know in my next video on this update. So it's either gonna be beta two or an update on 13.4.5 beta one. So I will be addressing all those other bugs in that video. But as far as performance goes, 13.4.5 feels exactly the same as 13.4. Now I did actually run a Geekbench score. So this was on 13.4 right here. You can see I got a 1328 single core and a 3237 multi-core. Whereas in 13.4.5, I got a 1329 single core and a 3244. So you can compare the scores right there. You can see 13.4.5 does have a slightly higher single core and multi-core score than 13.4. But like I always say, Geekbench scores do not mean everything. That does not really mean that's going to be a lot faster in daily use. And me just using this for, you know, 45 minutes or so, I really cannot tell a difference from 13.4 to this new update. But of course, I will update you. And it's the same with battery life. Battery life, there's no way to tell this right now. There's no Geekbench or anything for battery life. But it feels about the same. I mean, I can't really say anything. It's really not been long at all but my battery hasn't drained. So I would assume it's the same as 13.4. But once again, I will give it a little bit of time and get back to you guys with an update on both performance and battery life. So now should you update to iOS 13.4.5 beta one? And I say, why not? I mean, I normally do not advise updating to a first beta, especially on your main device, but this is a 0.4.5 update. So the chances of there being like a big bug or some major crashing going on or anything like that, is very slim. You're really probably not going to run into anything like that on this update. And if there is something major like that, it'll probably be fixed next week or so with beta two. And you should definitely update if you had Bluetooth or cell connectivity issues, or if you just really use this shortcut right here to go to Bluetooth, that's a reason to update. And of course the Instagram stories through Apple music, that's another reason to update right there. But I wouldn't run and get the developer profile just to install this update or anything like that. But uh, if you are on the beta program, I would go ahead and do that. As far as public beta testers, that should be out to you guys very soon as well. I will have the description updated with that information. But of course, if updating to a first beta on your main device worries you, then just wait for beta two. I will also talk about the performance of the battery life in that video as well. And that can make your decision a lot easier for you if you just wait till next week or so with beta two. And just as a side note, before I sign off, I did wanna mention that Apple just acquired the dark sky weather company and application right here. So this is a lot of people's go-to weather application and Apple just acquired them and they also took it off of Android, the Play Store. So now it's an application only available on iOS. Pretty interesting there. And if you are into weather, I would highly recommend this application. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for iOS 13.4.5 beta one. Again, it should be out to public beta testers here pretty soon. Pretty weird update going from 0.4 to 0.4.5. But like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, it does make sense for Apple. So yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe so you don't miss my 13.4.5 beta 2 video. And of course, 13.4.1 and all those other public releases, all those points, a lot of points. I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments talking about taking shots every time I say 13.4.5. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you soon.